In this video, we will discuss about thermocouple extension and compensating cables under the mineral insulated materials. These insulating materials are used between the thermocouple sheath and the thermocouple wire. So, why these um, extension or compensating cables are used, we will uh, discuss here. Because of the environment and temperature, the thermocouple may be need to be of a heavy gauge that is higher diameter and or of expensive material. It also need to be insulated with special ceramics and sheath depending upon, upon your application requirement. So it is impractical to extend the thermocouple uh, in the above configuration from the tip that is from the uh, hot junction where the temperature to be measured to the cold junction. Because this cold junction needs to be some distance away that is at the instrument terminal that is it may be in control room or some distance away from the application where the operator can see. Here we can see the typical thermocouple along with the terminal block and compensating cable. So the, it is having a sheath and uh, the thermocouple wires and they are insulated by using a MI material. So there is a terminal block which connects uh, the thermocouple wires and the compensating cable or uh, extension cable. And this terminal block uh, should have very high thermal conductivity so that uh, the junctions uh, form or, uh, are of at the same temperature. So these are the different types of uh, thermocouples. You can see that K, J, T, E, N, S, R, B and C. So the K thermocouple is commonly used and it is a base metal thermocouple. So this is having a range in your of around um, 1260 degrees centigrade and accuracy as shown here a plus plus or minus 2.2 degrees centigrade and the sensitivity of around 40 microvolts per degree centigrade. And whenever the application requires higher uh, the temperature measurement then we can go for S, R and B and if the application requirement is in addition to high temperature and is reducing atmosphere if you want to measure then you can go for C which uses tungsten rhenium combination. So in sheath insulating materials, so the sheath insulating material will be placed between the sheath and the thermocouple wires. So this is um, MGO is most commonly used uh, insulating material and its maximum operating temperature is 1700 degrees centigrade and uh, maximum melting sorry melting point of this is 2800 degrees Celsius. And these properties of this MGO is very hygroscopic, so used mostly in compacted sheet means hermetically sheathed uh, thermocouple. And other one is aluminum oxide, which is having a maximum operating temperature of 1550 and uh, melting point of 2040, and is excellent with the platinum alloys. And whenever the application requires higher temperature measurement, in that case, we can use hafnium oxide or beryllium oxide. But beryllium oxide, uh, it is a very toxic material, should be handled in a very careful manner. Mineral insulated materials that is used for thermocouples, uh, here we will discuss in detail. The resistance of magnesium oxide between the thermocouple whites and the metal protective sheet is uh, over 10 power 12 ohm per meter at 20 degrees centigrade with the ability to extend 250 degree to sorry 250 volts. Train size for in achieving this insulation need to be of order of 1 micrometer. As the hardness of aluminum oxide makes working to this grain size uh, difficult, so we cannot uh, achieve this grain size with this aluminum oxide. So come because of this, um, magnesium oxide is uh, very popular compared to aluminum oxide. When the application requires um, uses uh, for very high temperatures, so we can use beryllium oxide and hafnium oxide as an insulating material. So moisture causes as a reduction of the resistance of the insulation material. So whenever the insulating material absorbs moisture, its resistance will be decreased and also at the same time the moisture absorption will accelerate the corrosion. So the insulation of all MI thermocouples should be protected from humidity and this is the reason why mineral insulated thermocouples have both terminal terminals uh, hermetically seat to prevent in ingression of undesired moisture by the uh, insulating material. So a temperature measuring device with the thermocouple consists of the following thermocouple itself with a measuring junction, extension cable, cold junction with a specific constant temperature and a measuring or indicating device. Here we can see the value of the EMF produced by the thermocouple is determined by the difference between the measuring temperature and the free ends of the thermocouple which are mounted in the connection head. So um, from the connection or terminal head so we can use a compensating and extension cable for carrying this thermocouple signal uh, to the controller. 
So requirement for extension or compensating cable is because of the multiple bytes are of high cost and also the high resistance of extension leads. Suppose if we want to use extension leads, so which are of the same material as the couples, so they are having high resistance. In that case, compensating cables are preferred and also the flexibility. So these extension and compensating cables can be easily routed uh, to the control room or the place where the temperature uh, can be monitored. A connection cable with the same thermoelectrical properties as the thermocouple is used between the thermocouple and the cold junction and they are classified as extension cable. And extension cables are of uh, same material that is same conductors as the thermocouple in the form of flexible wiring or multi-core cable for carrying over long distance. So this cable is recommended for best accuracy whenever if you want for higher accuracy. So this cable is recommended and these are identified by a letter um, X. So for example, type uh, K thermocouple, the extension cable is identified by KX. These cables can achieve even same ambient temperatures as the thermocouple can. Compensating cable, use a different composition to extension cable that is only used to extend the thermocouple signal from the thermocouples and sort back to the instrumentation. And because uh, the extension cable uh, or which is of thermocouple material is expensive, so in that case we can use compensating cable. Uh, cheap and less precise compared to extension cable identified by the letter C. So we can remember uh, one thing. So extension cables are preferred where the precise temperature measurement is uh, required and compensating cable is preferred where uh, the cost is a uh, concerning parameter. So compensating cable can be identified based on the color coding. The internationally standardized color code as per IEC 60843. Uh, part 3 where insulation is same as for as uh, of the positive LED. Here we can see so as per IEC 584-3 so the color codes of these positive LEDs we can see in the right side chart and uh, the compensating uh, cable uh, insulation is also same color as of this positive LED. Here we can compare so uh, in the table and the, the right side figure. So J type compensating cable uh, is of black color so on K thermocouple compensating cable insulation is of green color and similarly you can see for B type thermocouple so the color of the compensating cable insulation is of gray color so which is uh, the positive lead insulation color of uh, the thermocouple Extension cables are normally used for uh, type uh, J and uh, type uh, T thermocouple because these um, materials are of low cost and also they are of uh, low resistance uh, metals. For uh, type E, so that is chromal constant in uh, thermocouple, extension cable is of nickel, chromal and constant. For type S and R, thermocouple compensating cable made of copper nickel alloys are used with the composition of uh, um, this is one of uh, the composition copper 99.4%, nickel 0.6%. For type B, thermocouple compensating cable made of copper 1.5% uh, manganese and copper uh, um, is used. See, one is positive lead, another is negative lead. For uh, type K, um, thermocouple compensating cable is made up of copper. Um, a copper constant N, which is a type J thermocouple material and extension cable can also be used for a type uh, K depending upon of your application uh, requirement means precise temperature measurement is required in that case extension cable is uh, used which is of material nickel chromal and nickel aluminum. So identification which you already discussed so the compensating cables are identified with the letter KC uh, of a, for a particular thermocouple as per IEC 584 and the extension cables are identified with the letter X uh, followed um, followed by a thermocouple uh, type. Here we can see so the thermocouple odd junction so which is measured by using thermocouple whites and uh, the terminal uh, block in the field. So using the compensating or extension cables, it can this signal is at un connected to the controller. Here in this example, we have considered a PID controller. So this is the PID controller which you have seen. So insulation that is used for this uh, cable is of different insulation, and it depends upon your uh, temperature uh, uh, requirement.
so pvc you can use which is having a temperature range of up to 100 ptfe that is teflon to 50 degrees centigrade glass fiber up to 480 degrees centigrade high temperature glass fiber up to 800 degrees centigrade ceramic fiber up to 1400 degrees centigrade so depending upon the application requirement that is where the cable is to be routed so the type of insulation can be selected so this is also the chart showing different uh, insulation and materials with uh, different temperature ranges and their uh, uh, resistance against uh, various conditions so and the factors to be considered uh, while uh, um, selecting the length of your compensating or extension cable is so one thing which you have to consider is total loop resistance and that is uh, electrical noise that is getting into the signal because different thermocouple wires are made up of different material, the resistance will vary depending upon the type uh, as well as the wire diameter and the length. So whenever you, your application requirement is more uh, uh, length, so in that case you can go for a temperature transmitter, so which will uh, send 4 to 20 milliamperes, so which can be uh, routed uh, very long distances. So thank you for watching my video.